research into dairy production has been ongoing in the country since 1904 when the animal husbandry research station as it was known then was set up in Naivasha under the government of the protectorate of Kenya. By 1933, the first Sahiwal Haifa was imported from India with the goal of adapting it to Kenyan conditions, specifically for the dry parts of the country. The Sahiwal breed originally came from India and Pakistan, but we have indigenized it. We have perfected it. Right now, as we speak in this country, we have close to 1,200 uh, thereabout heads of Sahiwal. It took decades of breeding for Kenya to develop the perfect Sahiwal, capitalizing on its drought and disease resistant genes. It grows fast. So the farmer can be able to, you know, uh, to, 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 to sell that animal within a, a, a shorter period compared to what we call the zebu cow. Today the center is known as the Dairy Research Institute, operating under the Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization. <coughs> the Sahiwal breed is its greatest source of pride because of its drought-resistant genes. But then as the drought cycles become more frequent, the genes alone are not enough. The center has developed several grass varieties to keep the livestock going in the driest of times. At the moment, the most common dairy breed in the country is the Frisian cow, which originated from the UK. And while it does well in wet parts of the country, producing very high yields of milk, it wouldn't survive in dry conditions. A Frisian cow, as we speak now, uh, can take up to 90 kilograms of fresh weight and uh, almost 40 liters of milk per day, I mean of water per day, sorry. The Sahi wall is already in circulation and has been received well by farmers, but then the scientists are having trouble getting into northern Kenya. Because of the pastoralist lifestyle, adopting technologies being developed in Naivasha is almost impossible, especially for the grass species. But the Sahi wall is not the only breed produced here. This are fresh and sahiwal breeds, meaning that they have fresh and fathers and sahiwal mothers. This animal is a crossbreed, meaning that it has characteristics of both parents. You can see the red color coloring from the coat, which is adopted from the sahiwal parent. Th sahiwals are generally red, and they also have the black and white colors, which are adopted from the fresh and parent. Now, what makes this animal special is that it's adapted to a, an area that is not very dry and not very wet either which are places like Kajiado County. One key characteristic of these animals is that their milk yield is actually taken after this, the fresh and parent, and it can yield between 20 and 30 liters of milk in a day, while a fresh and can do double that. A sahi wall, on the other hand, yields half of what this crossbreed yields. There are transitional areas like a part of Nyandarua. Uh, there are transitional areas like, uh, like Kipia, mainly like Kipia. Also, Kajado, like Kitengala, uh, Rongai area, uh, uh, part of, uh, of uh, Okambani. Besides breeding animals, the center also offers trainings to farmers on how to prepare silage, as well as the importance of knowing their ecological zones before buying any dairy animal. Zainab Wandati, NTV, for Food Friday.